Good afternoon, wonderful people. Today I am working on this Lady Death Necro book. So what it is, is limited to eight copies. And this one is one of the prizes that was won in my Christmas raffle this uh, that we held on December 1st. And so what I need to do is draw this and get it in the mail by Christmas time. Now, black books are considerably more challenging to work with because you can't see your pencil lines, right? <laughs> so um, what I need to do is get this sketched without really using a pencil. So um, I am working on just getting her face mapped out. So I've just got a light outline for her face and then I'm gonna be adding in <laughs> the rest <laughs> now. And then I'm going to uh, probably add some paint. So I'm gonna be using either gouache or white acrylic. I'll have to see. Um, but yeah, welcome to the stream today and I hope you enjoy it. And right now I'm gonna be just getting to the sketching. So I have the additional camera here. This is with my phone and I've got it um, set to time-lapse so that if, <laughs> if it turns out good and I manage to film correctly, then I should be able to um, post it later as a time-lapse time -lapse video. Stever, Mike, welcome to the stream today, guys. I'm so glad that you could make it. So I am gonna be doing a few, snow, hello. <laughs> I am gonna be doing a few um, guidelines for myself with the white pencil. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll erase them afterwards. Hopefully it'll work. Hello, Kara, Anthony. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping in to say hi. You're such a sweetheart. So I'm gonna just Pencil this in as lightly as I possibly can. There we go. I do know from this indentation that I put on her face that this is where her eyes are gonna be. I'm just gonna lightly put them in. And the thing with, um, with blanks is that you have to be really careful on the spine. So I'm gonna put as little pressure as possible along the spine. There's just a little piece of eraser there. So here goes. Eric, good afternoon. Fox, hi. <laughs> That's so awesome, Mike. Whoop, whoop. And some things like her eyes that I'm gonna be going over with paint, um, they of course can have darker lines. So I'm not as worried about those spots, but somewhere like here um, and where her nose is, I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful to get the lines right the first time. Sorry guys. Hello Mark, Hanuso, hello. Welcome to the stream today. I'm so surprised that many of you can make it. Thank you so much for being here. All right, I should be I should be here for a while. Probably actually about 2 hours. Okay. I'm getting Lady Death's eyes in. Now let's get her mouth. I may have made her chin too short. Damn it. 
We'll see. This pencil does not like to stick to this paper. So what it is, is it's not actually black paper. Something that um, Brian explained to me is that this is the white art paper and they printed black on it. So ink always has a little bit of a shiny finish to it. Even if the book or the paper that it's printed on is, um, is completely matte paper, the, the ink creates a little bit of a film on it. So this is, this is a little more tricky. <laughs> hey Mace, I'm so glad you're able to see a little bit of your sketch being done. Whoop whoop. Levi, hello. It's easier on the phone, but your typing is still bad. It's really not, Kara. Okay, so I've got to move her chin down ever so slightly, which is gonna suck because I'm gonna have to try and erase that line. Now for the project itself, that when I worked on these, um, I couldn't use any other colors, and I have a feeling I'm gonna I'm gonna need to stick to that with this, because um, I'd imagine that Brian is gonna want this. I guess it depends how it how it turns out, <laughs> but then it's gonna be um, it needs to all be in white. Autocorrect gets you sometime. Is it black inside of it black? What do you mean, Mark? Okay, so you guys are gonna see my, <laughs> my yogurt lids. See, Jan and I eat a lot of yogurt, as you can see. And we say, I, I have Dan um, save me all the lids. So I'm using these, any lids that I have, I'm using them as my um, acrylic and gouache paint um, palettes. So instead of having to scrub for forever, and it literally does take forever for me to um, remove the paint once it's dried off of my normal plastic palettes that I'm keeping, um, I'm using these now so I can just throw them out. William, hello! Welcome to the stream today. Okay. Oh, um... I'm gonna be really careful. I generally don't open them. Um, no, it has stuff in it. <laughs> Hello, Trav McDan. Yes, eat all the yogurt. I have a really hard time sticking to anything. Like as far as food goes, I get bored and then I wanna eat something else. Dan is really good about it. He can eat the same thing for years every day and it doesn't bother him like his work his food that he takes with him to work he's been making the same thing for like six or seven years and he can just eat it every day and he's not bored and he you know it's he's got it measured and weighed and it's the perfect amount of calories and protein and vegetables and like it's a very scientific situation with a scale when he makes his his uh, lunches I can't do that. I'm all over the place. <laughs> You're like that for like six months at a time. Well done, Trav. I can't even do that. All right, let's go ahead and record this. 
Ah, oh, shoot. My phone turned off. Okay. Here we go. Let's just get this going again. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, I'm not going to lie. All right. That's filming now. <laughs> I'm going to give her the really high high hair that she has sometimes or most times but then maybe we can give her some sort of fun choker or something There we go. Currently obsessed with turkey pot pie. That sounds delicious. <laughs> I have myself some eggnog. <laughs> Me and Vienna are the only two people in the house that like eggnog, so I wanted to make sure I left enough for her to have a glass too. But we're the only ones that drink it. Okay. My little palette. Oh my God, I need to stop dripping things. All right. And I think I'm gonna use acrylic paint. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Trav. <laughs> Comic Force, welcome to the stream today. I'm so glad I can help out with the afternoon goofing. <laughs> oh, that's cool, Mark. So they must have gotten actual black paper. Like special ordered or something. Okay, so I'm probably going to start with either of these. This is actually my inking brush. It's not really a paintbrush. Um, and then this one is one of my actual paintbrushes. And while I'm mixing everything, I can show you guys the, the finals of these. So here is the Firestar, Kitty Pride. Sorry, it's a little bright in here. And the Princess Leia. So these are complete and damn, it's bright. Okay, I'm gonna fix that. Art cam. Oh, this morning we bought a new art cam. So it should be arriving soon. <laughs> Let's see if we can take the exposure down. There we go. Maybe that'll work. All right, let's try it again. That's more like it. Okay, so there's, um, Princess Leia, Firestar, and Kitty Pride. So I'll be packing those up and getting them re ready to mail out for tomorrow. Oh my God, I almost stuck my brush in my eggnog. Not good. Stone Curva, hello. Yes, today's an early stream. I have to s switch things up depending on our schedule. Okay, I'm really hoping that acrylic paint sticks to this and I'm not like gonna have to 
think fast and come up with some other way. It looks as though it's sticking just fine. Yay, I'm so happy, Mace. As the acrylic dries, I'm seeing that some in some places I'm having to do a double coat to make it fully white. Gray Fox, welcome to the stream. Nick, hello. <laughs> No, you still feel sick. Were you sick? I'm so sorry, Nick. I hope you get better soon. <laughs> I 
think baby Yoda is Kara's cure to every ill. <laughs> Isn't it Kara? <laughs> Devin, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream today. William, I'm using a Windsor & Newton Series 7 size 0. Uh, the acrylic, I think, is just something super cheap. It's called Color Factory, paint for crafters. I have no idea where I got it. <laughs> But it's a, it's a little bit more runny than like an acrylic tube, for instance. So I, it's really nice for, um, for this kind of stuff where you're basically using it like a thick ink. Oh, Shy Rebel. Yes, I um, I finished her a little earlier this morning, not on live, but I can show her here. So here she is. So it's, it's not, it's a little blown out still, but that's about as good as I can seem to get the lighting in here today. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Uh, do I bring these supplies to cons? Has anyone ever asked for something like this before? Um, some, sometimes I bring these, not always. Crazies, no. <laughs> Welcome to the stream and thank you for the follow. 
Thanks so much, you guys. Dan Firestorm, thank you for the follow as well. <laughs> thank you so much, Brian. I do have some, some light colored pencil, some light white colored pencil down. So I, I, I'm not that awesome. <laughs> Chris, hello, long time no see. Today I'm working on one of the prizes for my um, Christmas contest that I run where I just give away a bunch of Christmas stuff to um, people on my website and um, one of the things, or Christmas presents more like, um, this is one of the prizes. So it's a limited edition, limited to eight books ever printed of this, this particular Octagon series. Um, and Right now I'm doing a Lady Death, obviously, um, on the black paper. They are not easy. Oh, so you are Firestorm? <laughs> okay, uh, I've made the connection. Thank you so much for being here. Tom, welcome to the stream. So Dan, I'll show you your sketch then. Here is the Firestorm. I did a little bit more work on her this morning uh, just to refine some of the colors. So it's a little washed out compared to what you're going to get. Um, oh, Firestar was taken, yeah. <laughs> I made the connection though, thankfully. Um, so here she is. Yellow is a, is a tricky color. I don't think I've ever, in all my years of coloring, ever done that character before, nor have I done any other character with a full canary yellow suit. <laughs> so it was, I was trying to figure out which color to do. <laughs> It's so good to have you here, Tom. All right, so I am going to do more things with her lips. They're not gonna stay just blank like that. I may, um, I may do that with, I'm not sure. I may use some colored pencil or I'll water down some of the, the acrylic paint. I have to see, I'm not sure yet. For now, I'm just gonna focus on getting everything else done. Um, so she's gonna be wearing some kind of choker slash necklace. My temptation is very, very strong at the moment to do um, gold. <laughs> I, I'm itching to add some gold to this. I don't know if um, I'm supposed to as far as the Octagon series and the intent of the Octagon series um, pieces. So whenever he does, I'm sorry, the Necro. So whenever um, Necro books are printed, they are black and white. That's it.
So if I start, you know, having an I love gold moment, I, I may ruin this one's chances of, of being a book cover. And I think it would make Mace happy if it became a book cover. You want gold? It might hurt the chance of it becoming an actual, um, an actual, um, mystery envelope, though. I'm not saying that it would, but... Okay, thank you, Mace. We'll see how brave I feel. I guess bravery isn't the right word. Eggnog break. Hello, Colorado Carol. <laughs> Thank you. This brush is not made for acrylic, so the, the ends are always splitting now. <laughs> out the little brush and move on to a bigger brush. Hello, pipe fitter. Thank you so much, Neil. All right, we are going to move on to a bigger brush. I'm going to be using this one. It's a long round Princeton size eight. just drying out so fast.
<laughs> oh, you're such a sweetheart, Comic Force. <laughs> They couldn't figure out what it is. I'm so glad to hear she's doing a lot better. Um, as far as Lady Death art books, um, that's something that Coffin Comics does. Um, so I will contribute to them sometimes, um, or maybe all times recently. Um, but I, um, if I was going to do an art book of... Uh, of stuff, I would do, you know, something with a character that I co-own, probably. Not for lack of love and respect for Lady Death. Sorry, I should have finished that. Not for lack of love and respect for Lady Death, but um, out of respect for the fact that, that she's not my character to fill a book with. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, that's something that Coffin Comics would do. <laughs> and that's way cool. So I'm intentionally letting it go to brush, dry brush back here. Just kind of disappearing. All right, now I'm gonna have to be uber careful. I think that white paint for Lady Death is just something that works really, really well. Please say hi to your mom for me, Kara. Oh, thank you, Carol Colorado. <laughs> I'm trying, Tom. I hope so. <laughs> what was really funny when you're, um, at a show we were at, um, I was next to Ebass, and um, someone came up. It was really nice of them, but they, they didn't get it, you know? <laughs> they didn't understand when I tried to explain. But they were like, you know, Ebass, they were talking to Eric, and they're like, you know, you should really try to get into comics. Your art is quite good. <laughs> and Eric's like, Oh, okay. So Eric didn't want to set the guy and, and explain to him, I already do work in comics. I've been in comics for like 15 years or something like that. So Eric's like, yeah, you know, I'll really consider it. And so finally I like showed the person. I was like, no, here's, here's his, um, 
you know, Justice League cover, and here's his Flash cover, and there's all these different things that he uh, that he does. Um, and um, I don't think the person made the connection that these were actually published books, you know, because I was showing him the art. Um, and I, I don't think the person understood that Eric was already in comics, so they kept really trying to convince him that he has a good shot. He, he really could draw. <laughs> so it was really funny. frequently or a lot of times it hasn't happened so much recently but when I first started in comics I guess there just weren't as many girls in comics um, so I uh, it would take me a while sometimes to convince someone that I actually drew the art they they were like looking for the dude they thought that i was i was like booth help and that happened a lot at the beginning now that doesn't happen anymore um people will just be like oh did you draw this um and i'll be like yeah and then and then they accept it whereas you know i'm talking like eight years ago nobody would believe me um and they think i was like <laughs> booth help and so um that happened a lot but um Recently, no. Everybody is, is very cool about it. Um, as far as fan art, though, and if they think that's what I'm doing, um, probably a lot. But then I explain, oh, these are the different things that I've worked on. This is what I'm working on now. And it's all, it's all pretty, pretty simple. Let's see if this will work. Nope, it doesn't work. All right, more white paint. I'm gonna water it down a little bit. Let's see if this works. You posted the same thing. Oh, that's hilarious, Tom. Okay, so I'm trying to kind of do watered down. I don't know that I want her lips to be like really intense white. That seems a little harsh, but let's see if this works. It might not stick without the, the intensity. Yeah, it's not sticking. See you later, Kara.
Yeah, that's what I'm that I'm kind of trying to do that, Mark. We'll see how it works. And the, the dots of the, the paint not quite sticking to the paper easily and readily actually looks kind of pretty, almost like little sparkles off her eyes, which I, which I really like, so yay! It's glitter lady death! Sparkle, sparkle! Thank you, Colorado! Mitch, thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate it. 
<laughs> oh, that's hilarious, Devin. Thank you. Thank you, Maze. I'm kind of um, adding and releasing pressure so that it's not a, um, a perfect line. I want it to have a little bit of texture to it so it kind of looks a little more like lace. Thank you, Varos. All right. to think about a couple little things I'm considering. Um, one thing is that I can add silver and I think I have a silver pen. I don't. I thought I did. Bummer. Let's see how this looks. Yes. All right. This is a silver jelly roll pin. And I'm going to add some silver sparkle onto all these. That's awesome, Chicago. Welcome to the stream today. So this is my pinata paint and it's in silver. So 
So we're gonna try that. We'll add some silver sparkle. So I need to move the two books that are here. I have the, the preliminary um, base white for the White Widow sketch and the preliminary base white for the Lady Death. So I've got those two that if I have time, once we're finished with the Lady Death book, I'll get to work on that. Oh, I wish it had candy in the piñata, Juan. Yes, we are. <laughs> from over here so I might put some hair even going through that curl because it's kind of a little bit big here and then goes a little spindly down at the bottom so I want to fix that the so first I have to get my I need to go get some rubbing alcohol to clean my brush or it's gonna get stuck so I'll be right back And I found a little paper cut I didn't know I had. Boy, rubbing alcohol is one good way to find out. Woohoo, it hurts. <laughs> All right, 
Brush is cleaned. Getting the other brush. This is the long round. And I just, so here's my little paint pan and I'm adding a little bit more water into the acrylic, reactivate it a little bit. I know, aren't they? They are so the worst. It was like surprise attack. I didn't even know I had that paper cut. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more over here. I just didn't quite like how that one was going. Actually, you know what? I might just fill it. There we go. Fill that up a little bit. It's true, the cut is clean. You have a point. So I wanna put something here in her hair. I might need to do that with silver. The Merc, hello, welcome to the stream today. Whoop, whoop. All right, so I'm gonna do that with the silver pen or silver brush. I just need to decide where it's gonna go. Okay, so like this is gonna be the top of her head. And that's the side. I might clean up those lines just a smidge so that they don't look like they're, I don't know. Uh, this is the Lady Death Necro book from the, um, the sketch winners uh, prize. So this one is a limited book to eight copies. Um, and I drew some that became, um, Lady Death, um, mystery envelope books. And then, um, this one, Brian let me keep. He just said, you can keep it and draw on it when you feel like it. So this is like my personal copy. It's still the one of eight, I believe. Cause Brian is, uh, Coffin Comics is extremely careful with how they, do their numbered things. So this is a limited to eight copies and um, I'm drawing on it for one of the prize winners. So we're gonna do this in silver. I'm gonna do a rose real quick. So we're just gonna, this we are going to wing. So that's the center of the rose. Let's get some petals. Yes, probably so, Devin. No, yes, Devin. Mm 
this paint dries so fucking fast. It's already like trying to paint with jello. Ugh. You think I should raffle it off again? <laughs> uh, suicide. Uh, this one is taking it really well. Um, Coffin Comics has worked very hard to make sure that their blanks are, um, are really good and easy for the artists to work with. And that's something that I'm so grateful to them for because you're right, some blanks are really, really rough to work with. Need some more paint. Okay, so I just got a little bit more because this stuff was turning into jello. Um, and I want to do some swirls. Um, no, they're not quite the same, Devin. So these ones were actually printed. So black was printed on top of the regular blanks paper. So they're a little bit trickier to work with because it's almost more like doing a remark. The, the ink creates a, a film over the paper itself and that makes it a little bit harder to, to work with. So um, the paint kind of sits on top until it completely dries. Some are just uh, black paper, and then it has the matte, um, the matte filling to it, or the matte feeling to it, and those are easier because you can actually work with them and they'll absorb and stuff like that. Okay, now I'm taking some white. And I'm just gonna give a little bit of highlight to these. So now I'm gonna need to fix it a little bit more. I kind of did this all in the wrong order. 
I hadn't really thought it through since I'm kind of working on the fly. Um, I'm gonna go back in and add a little bit more silver to some of these parts. I was trying to see if we could see it all by just sort of leaving some of the negative space, but there's no differentiation. <laughs> um, or there were, I don't know, somehow it wasn't really showing up what I was trying to do. So what I'm gonna do is just go through and fill in all the little spots where the silver is missing. I was trying to just go from silver to black, um, but it didn't, it didn't quite look how I was intending, so I'm just gonna fix it up. Okay, cleaning off that brush. Need to add a little bit more ink or acrylic paint. Wasn't quite sticking the way I wanted. Good night, the Merc. Thank you so much. All right, I think this one is done, and I'm gonna start working on. Um, I'm gonna start working on some of the next ones. So, let's just take a look at this. Oh wait, I forgot some of the silver. Damn it.
See you later, Mark. Have a good one. There we go. All right, so here we go. There's the shiny silver. Whoop, whoop. And then her necklace is also shiny. And I'm just gonna add a few more dots here. It's hard to tell looking straight on where I didn't put any silver. I kind of forgot about my silver paint here, so I should have just done silver to start with. But anyway, there we go. Okay, it is done. Now it's time to work on some of the other pieces. So there you go, Mace. I'm so glad that you were able to make it for the whole thing. Um, usually after the stream, once I've walked away from the art and come back, I find things that I wanna adjust and um, Fix. So there is a chance I will make some more adjustments to it, but um, this is where she's at for now. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tom. I sure can. <laughs> Had some, sometimes things just go horribly wrong. All right, so I'm going to very gently and carefully move this book. Moving that out of the way. All right. So this one is going to be cautiously moved over to my other desk. I will be right back and I'll start working on some of the other sketches that I need to do, which are um, the White Widow and Another Lady Death. Whoop whoop, be right back. All right, so we're gonna take a momentary break on Lady Death, because the next book I have to do after this one is also a Lady Death. So let's do the White Widow, and then I'll move back to Lady Death. <laughs> oh yay, I'm so glad that you're happy, Mace. That's the best. Oh, you know what? From a distance, you can see the silver sparkle. Yay. All right, White Widow. Time to get going on this one. I'm going to remove the blank from under, I mean the sleeve because it's slippery. All right, so for White Widow, I'm gonna do a time-lapse video again, because why not? And, um, for this one, I need to uh, draw her face, put in the rest of her um, suit. I might use silver again, but you know what? I need to look at White Widow again. Images. because I'll do her white suit for this cover. And I was thinking I might even try something um, like using gouache or something like that to actually give her skin tone. Yay! 
See you later, Mace. Thanks for hanging out for this part. It was great to have you here. And Merry Christmas. I'm so happy that you won one of the presents. See you later, Comic Force. Thanks for hanging out. Good night, Dan. Have a good rest. Thanks for joining in for a while. All right, so I have actually never used, um, I have never used gouache on a cover before. I have no idea if it's gonna work, but um, I can pretty much figure out real fast if it's not gonna work. So I have enough confidence to at least try. So here are my gouache, well here's my little, my little gouache palette. Um, I just need to add some more. I used a little bit of gouache on Dan Firestorm's sketch um, a little bit earlier today just to adjust a couple things I wanted to change and it worked out really well on normal paper. We'll see how it works on <laughs> comic book paper over acrylic paint. Hello, Keeman. So the way I've been making skin tone is I've just been making my own here is, I'm gonna move that. I've been um, mixing a little bit of um, some white gouache and a little bit of red gouache. It's just everything has dried, so I'm gonna have to kind of remake it all. And then a little bit of yellow. There we go. I'm doing great, Keeman. I hope all is going well for you. All right. Needs a little more yellow. The red is really powerful, so I always end up with too much red in the skin until I rework it and add some more yellow. Okay, and let's just mix it with a little more white. That seems right about perfect. There is a high chance that somebody's gonna end up with a little bit of eggnog mixed in their paint for <laughs> their blank if I don't watch it. <laughs> Hello, Night Spell. All right, so let's give this a try. Firstly, I'm going to sketch out her face. And I can kind of, usually I have to be so very, very, very careful to not do very many lines because I'm gonna have to erase them and they don't erase all that well. But here, because I'm gonna be um, painting it with gouache, I think I'm gonna um, find it much easier to work with because I will just, um, paint over any sketch lines if they're in the wrong place. Yay!
I'm gonna thin out her face a little bit. A little bit on the wide side. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if this even works at all. It works to a point. I don't I think I'm pretty much going to only be able to do one layer on this. It doesn't quite stick the way that I was hoping. I probably should have done it with acrylic. see how it goes. Right, so that one I'm going to throw out. And are these acrylics? These are my acrylics. Yes, a rare multimedia, <laughs> multimedium, yes. I uh, haven't done this, so we're just testing things out. The good news is that if worse comes to worse and this is an epic disaster, I do have more books, but I personally think it's gonna work. All right, 
let's do some red mixed with yellow. Just move this over here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Hello, superhero. Alright, I'll look up in just a second as soon as I finish this part. So right now I'm trying out something new and I'm trying acrylic paint on a comic book blank. So this is a blank that I drew and it was colored by um, Sandru Nivan Gune. And then right now I'm just drawing what's called a remark. And that is just a little drawing of original art on a printed book.
Yeah. Oh, cool. Yay. Well, I've never tried one before, so this is all new. Yay. I guess. <laughs> So I first out, first off, I started out with um, trying to do a do it with gouache. That didn't work out very well for me. So now I'm trying something else, which is um, acrylic paint. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, thank you so much, Colorado. Well, I had an old acrylic paint that I thought would work. It did not. It was solid and funky junky, so we're gonna have to use um, something else. I haven't used acrylic paint in like years. I basically haven't really used acrylic paint at all. Um, except for recently with Divinica and a painting I did nine years ago, I think. <laughs> um, so I don't even really remember everything of what I'm supposed to do and how this all works, but we're just winging it and we're trying some things and it's fun. All right, so I'm just mixing myself a little bit of brown. Let's get a little bit more red in there. There we go. I just want to use that for some of the um, oh well thank you Tim I'm so glad you had fun last year and it's totally no problem that you couldn't make it this year I completely understand All right, so I just want to do a outline around her face.
Oh really? You do the same thing, Tim? Oh, that's so awesome, Wolf's Venom! Congratulations! <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, I can't do that eyelash yet because I need to do all of her hair on that side, actually. So I'm just going to have to leave that side blank for now. But I'm happy with how this is going. It's kind of working out. Yay! All right, now I need to get a little bit more black. Actually, not more black. I haven't used any black yet. Welcome to the stream. And I think this whole area is going to need a little bit more white to it, probably. But for now, what I want to do is make myself a little bit of a gray tone for her, um, just for any spots in her hair that I want it to look a little bit more shaded.
Oh, bummer. I stuck my hand right in that spot, so I'm gonna need to refill it. blank sheet of like the black book is what you're talking about right <laughs> the necro Yeah, I wish in that short a time, too, I would be so proud of myself, but no. Yeah, I'm not really talking as much as I should be, I apologize. But also I feel like everybody's probably working. So I'm just kind of going, streaming on the side. Just gonna do a little bit. I'm not gonna draw the whole spider logo. That is really intense. I was kind of allude to it. Yeah, everyone's multitasking. I figured as much. It's great. I'm actually getting art drawn a lot faster than usual. <laughs> I am not complaining. A huge thank you to everybody who's in here though. Thank you so much. Justin, hello! Welcome to the stream today, whoop whoop!
Yeah, Kylie's still sleeping because it's like, I don't know, three in the morning for her or something. Okay, see you, Anthony. Okay, now I'm gonna mix a little bit of black into the brown. Just give her some pretty black lashes. Let's do that red um, white widow logo and then I'm gonna need to head out okay well I'm doing the no the black widow um, pattern real quick where is it there we go Let's get that in. I'm just finding all of these um, paints that I've just had lying around for a long time. I'm finally using them. Okay, so I'm using a cadmium red. I think that that's probably just about right. Yeah, that's a lot of distraction there, Chicago. Oh, whoops, it goes to a point. Mm 
I'm such a moron. I drew it right the fuck there. And then I'm going to need to use that again when I uh, draw the spider. I'm going to keep the spider a lot simpler than it is in her actual logo there. Hello, Adam. How did the party go? Oh my god, it was so much fun. <laughs> and yes, Justin um, said it perfectly. <laughs> I think a lot of people are angry with Moobot. Justin, you were still supposed to whisper me your address, though. Whenever you can. Ages and ages ago. I need to send you something. Dude, I promised you a wonder booty like year, like, I don't know, almost a year ago.
It's from the very, very last print that I did. And I printed one for you last year. When I did it, I think I printed five for the last few people. <laughs> you guys were amazing to just, I don't know, congratulate everyone who Moobot called and the raffle and all of that. <laughs> Yeah, Justin, time's ticking. I'm gonna just send it to somebody else. them. <laughs> All right, I just want to wait for the black paint to dry right there. I'm going to put a little red dot to symbolize the Black Widow mark and then I'm done. Yeah, just whis whisper me on whisper to me on Twitch or on Facebook or somewhere. Just not my personal page on Facebook. I won't see it. So like on my art page. This one is finished. Whoop whoop. <laughs> Mr. E, hello and welcome to the stream today. Uh, today I worked on two things. Time is just a construct. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Um, my kids are getting home any minute now and I need to, um, I need to be there, chitty chat, make them snack, find about out about school, and you guys don't even want to know the copious amounts of laundry that I need to wash. Oh damn, I have so many mom chores waiting for me. <laughs> you and your talent hurts my feelings. Aw, <laughs> that's so sweet of you, Brian. <laughs> so many people hurt my feelings too. <laughs> I had a heart attack while I was driving, slammed into my uncle head on. Oh my God, Adam, I am so incredibly sorry. That is so tragic and sad. I am gonna be keeping your family and you and everyone in my thoughts, oh my God. I am so, so sorry. Yeah, that is so rough. Is she, she's doing okay. Wow. Yeah. I don't even know what to say. That is so incredibly sad. I'm sure it's been hard. That's like more than anyone should have to deal with. So many hugs to you. I'm so sorry, Adam. If there's any way you can give your, um, your aunt a uh, big virtual hug from all of us and tell her we're all thinking of them and hoping that she's all right and that she, she recovers well and her heart heals and all that she must be dealing with. Please give her tons of love from all of us. Yeah, wow. It's crazy.
So were her daughters like little kids? Oh, I see. Your uncle, his two granddaughters, and put your aunt in the hospital. That is crazy. We'll be keeping your family in our thoughts big time, Adam. I'm so sorry that this hit you guys. I mean, that is just like, it's something everyone fears. The girls were 16 and 14. Oh. So, so rough. It's completely understandable why you haven't been able to make it to any of the, the Twitch streams or that you've been busy, I mean, as you should be. That is so terrible. And we're all so sorry. I think everyone's just speechless. No. Okay, I'm going to go look. I'm so sorry for missing that. Yeah, so sad. So much love and hugs to all of you guys, Adam. I'm so very sorry. Keep us posted though, you know, as she recovers and things happen, please let us know. And I'm gonna be keeping you in so much of my thoughts and so much love to you. There's just like, there aren't enough I'm so sorry's in the world. There really aren't. That is just beyond tragic and so sad. I hope your family like finds a way to just, <laughs> you know, you don't want to move past it. You don't want to forget. You don't want to do anything that seems disrespectful to your loved ones and the ones that are gone. But at the same time, try to heal one another and help one another to just make it. And so that's kind of what I'm hoping for, that you guys can make it and that everybody's going to be all right. Yeah, so much. Love you tons and tons, Adam. And I love all of you guys a bunch. I'm really sorry that I need to run. Um, but Adam, please keep us updated for sure. So much love and hugs to everybody. And I will be back on live tomorrow um, in the afternoon, later on like at usual time between like 4.35 to around 8. <laughs> For sure, it's, it's, it's harder than anyone should have to face. This is really rough. I love all of you tons, Adam. We're thinking of you always and your whole family. I've got to go now. I love you guys. Catch you tomorrow. I'll be doing more sketching of one of the other many art to do's on my list and I'll see you guys later. Thank you for your support. Thanks to everyone who has been here. Um, I love you. I'll catch you tomorrow.